to see more tours and test drives, be sure to check out tinyhome.tours. Hi everybody, G here. Here we are in the front of the coach. My absolute favorite part is that this bad boy is a massage chair. And watch this. What? It's so cool. So this is my favorite part overall. So that's the coolest part, but there's actually a lot of other exciting things happening in here. First of all, right when you walk in, it's just beautiful right away. So this floor, if you could feel it, is really squishy and so soft. So something that stands out the most to me in this coach is the aesthetics. Everything is perfectly put together. There's hidden cabinets that you don't even know open because it just looks so sleek and perfect everywhere. And there's a huge drop down TV right when you come in. So then we go up this little red carpet rail and you've got some drawers to your left here and to the right, ba -ba -ba -ba, a fireplace. And we've got two drawers underneath here. Coming into the kitchen area, the dining table is kind of small, which is weird for a coach this size, I thought, but you also have this over here where guests can eat um, because I feel like this would only fit two or three people. There's storage underneath the table. We've got some more storage space above the table. Coming across here, we've got some more pull-out drawers, a bowl of chocolates that I already had to sample. Um, these chairs are also super soft and cozy. You could probably sleep in there as well. This is, I'm assuming, where you could put like pantry food, spices, things like that. And as you can see, this is kind of just an example of how sleek and clean the whole thing looks. It doesn't even look like these would open. They're kind of hidden and like they're just so perfectly perfect. And it's soft and leather and it's so beautiful. And I love how they built the inside. You can really see throughout the whole coach, there's just little details everywhere that you wouldn't expect. Convection oven, but it's two layer, which is really nice. This is so cool. This is the stove top. Look at this bad boy. We've got the trash can space, all of these. Oh, sorry. <laughs> all of these just pull right open. Wait, I didn't discover this before. There's a dishwasher. Of course there's a dishwasher. All of these little guys just open up for all of your dishes and whatnot. And something I'd like to point out is throughout the whole coach, this is how you control the lights everywhere. Not only the lights, but also the doors, which I'll show you in a minute. So if I want a green ceiling accent, I can have it on. If I don't, I just cook it off if I'm trying to impress people. I can also turn on the floor heater, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Coming over to the other side, you've got your other control over here, which controls this side of the room. There's little specific lights for every single thing. Wow. Watch this. What do you think this is? Any guesses? Washer and dryer. It's the fridge. Watch. It like doesn't even look like it. Give him the front view. Like this just looks like a wall. Maybe you could put a picture frame right here, right? Surprise. Wow. It's so pretty. And then look, when it closes, it like, like, like I didn't press it, it like suction cupped in. I don't know how to explain it, but it's so cool. Oh my gosh. These are your crisper drawers. And then I think this is the freezer. Wow. This is what I would probably use for pantry foods. Okay, now watch. See ya. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? I didn't touch it. It's so cool. Got some more lights over here. Um, if you want to shut the bathroom door before you're in it. <gasps> Wrong one. <gasps> There's a mirror on this side. What? So you can shut it from this side if you need a full length mirror. Oh my gosh, this just keeps getting cooler. Sorry, <laughs> moving on. Okay, step into my office. Cut that out. <laughs> the bathroom. Look, just in case you get bored while you're pooping and need to watch something. <laughs> There's a TV in the bathroom. It's, and it's prettier than the TV in our house. 
It's so cool. It just is so pretty. Okay, now watch this. I'm not touching anything. Cool, huh? Um, if you come in here, you've got some storage underneath here. Moving on, the shower is so pretty. I just turn the light on from the outside here. Add the ceiling accent if I want to set the mood. Just switch this little hammer knob open. Wow. Wow. It's so pretty. It's gold. Like, what? Wow. When you open up the closet, the light automatically comes on, which is real cool. And this closet is huge. Look, I fit inside. And even in the closet, I'd like to point out, this is real leather, super soft leather. This whole coach is just the utmost perfect quality. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba! Washer and dryer. Super beautiful, of course. You've got your other closet right in here, automatic lighting for the use. <laughs> Across the way here, we've got the shoe closet. This is the coolest thing ever. Look at that. Wow. And then, of course, you've got lots of drawers. You've got your control panel on either side of the bed. That has a lot of buttons I don't really want to mess with. So you've got your giant TV over here. More storage, more storage. You definitely have a ton of room in this thing. The bed is super soft and squishy. In this corner, it's a hidden door. You've got another little storage space with real leather, of course. And then you've got your second half bath over here with this really comfy, squishy toilet seat. And look, I thought this was cute. When you lift it up, it says, Gentlemen, please be seated. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. And then you've got, oh wow, I just discovered on the toilets there's a button that you press to flush. You don't have to use your foot. Like the peasants. <laughs> just kidding, don't put that in there. <laughs> you've got your towel racks behind the toilet. Also, this is really sweet. All of these mirrors open up, so you just have a ton of medicine cabinet space. So overall, obviously, this is the prettiest thing I've ever seen. I'd rate it like a thousand out of 100. There is nothing wrong with it. I have nothing bad to say. If you can afford one of these, then you should definitely be living in one. I don't know why you wouldn't. You live in this luxurious place and you get to travel. It's just really cool. Um, but besides that, I really do think that the actual quality, not just how it looks or how it looks nice, the quality of the build is so much nicer than any other coach I've ever seen and you can really see how much effort and care that the people that work on these put into each individual coach. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching and to see more of our RV tour videos, check out tinyhome.tours.